children ain't gonna lie But I wasn't ready so you took me by surprise You wanna know if I will ever leave your side But I will love you till the very day I die Girl I need you, I've been needing you like air Don't know how I would survive without you there Okay, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Chuckle Velvet. Anyways, um, that was Heaven, also known as I think Susu Song by Banky W. It is a beautiful song, so you guys should go and listen to it. Anyways, straight to the point. Um, I'm going to be posting more videos now because school is over. Dun, dun, dun. And I have more time. So um basically we're gonna be doing a dark skin inspiration out today because you know it's been a while. I've been feeling like it, but I feel like right now is the time. I'm in the right headspace or I'm in the right mind or my mind is in the right place for me to do this video pretty much. Anyways, I'm going to start with like I'm going to divide it into sections this video. So the first one will pretty much be like me talking about makeup. And being dark skin and just makeup companies and makeup artists and stuff and then I would move to the dark skin pages and then I would move to my story time so you guys better watch this video to the end but yes and then story time and just handling hate tabs pretty much or hateful comments or bullies pretty much okay so um don't you guys hate when you walk into a beauty supply store hmm? Or any makeup store, drugstore, anything. You just walk in there and you can't find your shade. It's like they really had the audacity not to include my shade to their nonsense. <laughs> but like honestly, it just makes me wonder like why isn't my shade as important as other shades? But the truth is, when you don't find your shade, don't let that bother you. If they make up companies or brands don't feel like your shade <coughs> your shade is important enough to add to their collection that they're not relevant you don't even need to patronize them don't buy their eyeliner or any other makeup products they use to be honest because I mean if they can't if they don't think I'm important so why should I buy from them why should I be giving them profit makes no sense so yes don't just let that affect you all I say is keep looking for your shades till you find your shade honestly if, like it took me a very very long time for me to find my shade. I ever used the wrong shade for a whole year <laughs> And I didn't know till I found my perfect shade. So yes, just keep trying different things It might seem like a waste of money, but when you finally find your shade, it won't be a waste of money And if you're looking for a shade, try like um, but I also heard that um, Maybelline and Elf brought out new shades I don't know how good they are because I've not tried it before, but I would probably buy it and try it and tell you guys how that went. But, but when it comes to foundation, Lacombe is the best for me, like hands down. Okay, so um, moving on. Don't you guys hate when makeup artists come to beat your face unprepared? Like why even bother calling yourself a makeup artist if you cannot handle all skin tones? Like honestly, I just did. I don't even know what to call you. But if you cannot work on my skin and make me look as good as you make other people look, then <laughs> I'm sorry. You're not a makeup artist. The problem is not my skin. The problem is you. So don't, because some, some of them are making you feel like your skin is a problem. Let me tell you, your skin is not a problem. They are the problem. They are the ones that are not professionals and they're the ones that are not good. They are the ones that are not good enough. Period. If you feel like makeup artists don't do exactly what you want or maybe you just don't like it or you just think they can't beat your face right be your own makeup artist be me honestly <laughs> if nobody's gonna do it right you can do it right like and i know that sometimes it can be hard also finding people that are your shades on youtube because bro that took me years i don't even know if i ever found somebody that was my shade oh i think i found one person i forgot her name but i put her name in the link below but honestly just find just Learn it yourself, teach yourself. And to make up artists, start getting it right. Like, don't come to beat someone's face and be acting like, oh, 
our face is confusing and don't be afraid to use colors on my face i hate that thing when people are like scared to try a color on you stop it makes no sense just try it and if it does not work out clean it off you won't be mad okay moving on to dark skin pages first of all i'm just going to say thank you <laughs> I'm going to say thank you to those pages because they actually helped me a lot. Because imagine being on Instagram and just seeing people in shade as you and just being so confident in how they look and everything. It just kind of encourages you to be comfortable in your skin. So pretty much, yes, thank you. But then again, there's a little comma. There's always a comma. <laughs> but yes, um, sometimes I go on some dark skin pages. All I'm actually seeing is just body thick, 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 thick. I mean, I'm not even thick, honestly. I'm very skinny, but like, I feel like there should be a balance. It shouldn't just only be thick people all the time. Please mix it up. And let's not take the focus off the skin and put place it on the body. I know that I had to unfollow so many pages. Not so many. I had to unfollow some pages because I just didn't. Imagine trying to encourage people, but also in a way like indirectly like bringing some other people down imagine going on your page and all you're seeing is thick people it's like okay so if i'm going to be dark skin but i have to be i have to look a certain type of way to be pretty or to be shown up or stuff like that so i feel like there should be a balance don't just put thick people i mean you could put thick people i have no problem with that but like i feel like to mix it together showcase every type of dark skin not just a thick type of dark skin people but that's what i'm saying and if on your page and if that's all you see and you're feeling discouraged <laughs> girl post yourself size yourself up if nobody wants to size you if nobody wants to compliment you compliment yourself post your pictures it's allowed just exaggerate yourself if that's the way and if you like maybe dm them when you're like oh post me and they don't post you they're posting other girls maybe you feel like oh this one's like more pretty this one's like prettier than me and that's why they don't post you most of the time some of them are busy or they just have so many pictures to post and that's why they don't post you so just don't what i'm going to say is don't let that bring you down you are pretty inside and out you are beautiful inside and out you shouldn't let that discourage you if nobody's going to post you post yourself and that's the pages please Put the balance, not everybody's thick. <laughs> so, moving on to the part I've been waiting for pretty much handling side comments and like just insults or hateful comments. I feel like I just said the same thing, but, anyways, just ha like how I handle this or just how like me growing up and handling stuff like that. Okay, so in Nigeria, we had secondary school, I mean, we have secondary school, and that's just one to SS3. So just one, just two, just three. I got the regular the regular nickname, like just the regular one they give to dark skin people, which is lucky. So that's not really an insult like that. It's just a general nickname. And like when they called me that, it didn't really trip me like that. So well, I wasn't really really I wasn't really affected by that. So just one, just two, just three, we I had the same set of classmates. But when I moved to SS1, I had to switch or I had to wait. I had a change of classmates because we um we were moving to three different sections like science, social science, and arts. So like you have you pick you pick whatever you want to do and then you go to that you are in that class. So um I was in social science and then uh, like I had the silliest classmates the funniest classmates the meanest classmates like was just a combination of wonderful people and honestly they're all still my friends now okay most of them are still my friends till now most of them that even like used to insult me and everything are still my friends but like um some of the things they said really really some of the things they said hurt me more than they realized or more than i realized myself and affected me more than I knew. Okay, so basically, in SS1, they gave me Eclipse because apparently, when I walk into the class, when I walk into a room, the moon covers the sun and then there's darkness. <laughs> Yo, I'm confused as to how, like, when they called me that, I was just wondering how they came up with that. But yes, they called me Eclipse and I was just like, 
I hated these other people. Like I didn't. I'll be like, stop calling me that, but they also call me that. So apart from like calling me Eclipse, they also like made other comments or insults like, oh, when God was creating you, did he forget you in the oven? Or wow, look at Tony at the blackboard, see the way they just bled. Or if I'm wearing a black top, they'll be like, wow, I can't even see your face because it's like blending so well with your shirt. And then stuff like, oh, if you're in the dark, we won't be able to see. Just stupid, stupid things like that. And my mouth was very large, like, but... I used to tell people I didn't care, I was just a talkative, so if you come for me, I'll come for you. And the truth is, obviously I'll insult you and to pain you and then they'll say something worse and I'll just be like, I'll just, sometimes they'll just, you know, shut me up and I'll just keep quiet. And then that went on every day, like every single day, they never feel to surprise me with their insults. So moving to SS2, right, you would think maybe they'll just keep calling me Eclipse and call it a day, but they switch to blackout. And then I was just because apparently when I walk into the room, Nepa takes the lights and there's a blackout. But when I'm just in class, Nepa just takes the lights and there's a blackout. That's why they gave me blackout. And like I said, I'll just sit down, like I'll go home and I'll be wondering like how do they come up with this? And then me too, I'll sit at home and I'll be thinking of the next clap back. I'll plan for them or something just painful. But the truth is that's always hurt me more because it was more about my skin and mine was just more about like oh a very stupid way I do something cost just being that smart but mine was about my skin and like I said like I'll just go home and, and I'll just go home and I'll just be like their words won't hurt to me or I'm not going to cry because of any home I'm being and then I'll just swallow everything in I won't even tell anybody in my house about it because I didn't take it as, I didn't take it as a big issue. I remember one time I was in class, I was just minding my business. Even though on a regular day, I don't mind my business. I was minding my business and this girl came with the magazine and she was like, wow, Tony, you should be thanking God. Just start thanking God and praising God. I was like, why? In my mind, I was like, maybe they put my name into the magazine or maybe they put my picture or something. And this stupid, okay, not stupid, I'm trying not to insult people anymore. <laughs> but this silly girl was like, wow, you're not the darkest person on the planet, you should be thanking God. And I looked at this broomstick. <laughs> I said I went something for again. <laughs> I looked at this girl and she as far as I'm concerned, she's pretty much as dark as I am. But for some reason she just felt she could join the people in giving me side comments or insulting me. So I didn't even see anything. I really didn't see anything, but the truth is it was damaging me deep down, deep down. The more they insulted me, the more my confidence went lower. And um, it got to a point I didn't know how to take compliments anymore. Like, people give me compliments and I'll just be like, okay. And then people also thought that maybe I heard it too much. And that's why I was being, what was the word? I don't even know. But the truth is, I let the compliments um, affect, I mean, not the compliments, I let the insults affect me. And like, I didn't realize how much it was making me not love myself anymore like you know people can look into the mirror and size themselves up i couldn't look into the mirror and size myself up i didn't just feel like i met the beauty standard that the <laughs> society created so i was just like yeah there's a level and i'm not up to that level i can't reach that level because of my skin tone and that's how i felt but as time went on like i obviously overcame it you know, I, I look at like dark skin pages or just, you know, tell myself God loves me and even if nobody loves me, God loves me. And you know, I just started to love myself more and more and that, wait, when did I start loving myself? It was like two years ago, wait, two and a half years ago. That's when I just started telling myself I can't let these hateful comments come from me, um, affect me. Instead of focusing more on the insults, I was focusing more on the compliments. So basically, when haters try to bring you down, just ignore it. I know sometimes it can be very hard to ignore it, but at the same time, we just have to ignore it and focus on the compliments because if we keep letting it affect us and you know, taking everything in, we won't know how bad it's affecting us on the deeper level. Also, like instead of keeping everything in, like keeping like maybe your anger, or keeping maybe you're feeling down or depressed about the whole issue, just talk to someone about it. To me, I didn't like talking to anybody about this because I felt it wasn't. A, I just, I think I felt like it wasn't a big issue, or I just didn't want to talk about it. But it was a bad thing not talking about it. So if you if you're feeling some type of way because of your skin tone, 
I would advise you to talk to somebody or you can even slide into my DMs and I'll help you out. But um yes, just love your skin. People are going to talk regardless. It's us who hit, but that does who put it and the tomatoes with submit. Okay, that was dumb. But okay, so to wrap up all I've been saying and just to conclude. I would just tell you guys to be confident in your skin no matter what. Please do not let anybody bring you down. Don't make anybody don't let anybody make you feel like you are not up to the stand standard. Also, please, 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 I beg you, do not look up to people like Bobrisky. Every time I see Bobrisky, I'm just mad. I'm not mad at the fact I'm not mad at his snaps to be honest. I'm just mad about what he did to his skin because i feel like he's making it seem like it's okay to bleach your skin but it's not please love the skin you're in and if you feel like just bleaching the skin is just not mm -mm. like he doesn't even look right he doesn't look right honestly he looks like he's about to melt but please 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 i'm just begging do not do not let people like brisky inspire you if you feel like nobody loves you or you just feel like you're not well loved Please remember that God loves you and you're created in His image, so you're definitely beautiful. You're spectacular. Just, I'm just, I just want somebody to remember that. And like I said, be proud of your skin. If they want to hit you with the, if you were lighter, you'd be finer. Joy, just tell them or ask them actually, would you be finer if you were darker? They need to, they need to think about that because honestly, your skin was made for you nobody can rock your skin better than you and if they want to hit you with the oh when the light goes off you won't be able to see you. remind them that when that light comes on you'll be the one glowing the most honestly it's not a bad thing to size yourself as a size <laughs> it's not a bad thing to size yourself in life you need to hype yourself up if nobody will hype you up just look into the mirror and tell yourself i am the baddest girl on this planet the prettiest girl in the world <laughs> no one can compete with me <laughs> my melanin is worth more than your goal so you better put that respect on it honestly you just have you're like the baddest babe in the world nobody will judge you or even if they are judging that's their business just keep looking into the mirror and telling yourself god loves me I am beautiful, my melanin is popping, my dark skin is wonderful, I am beautiful. Basically, that's all I have today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The next one should be funny. I don't actually like saying my videos will be funny, so let me take that back. But the next one should be interesting. I'm going to be bringing my friend and it's going to be like a Nigerian tag or Yoruba tag or something like that. But yeah, you should watch out for my next video. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please comment down below for I for ideas or things that you want me to do. And always remember, no matter what skin you're in, you are beautiful.